The growth of Agagaria had proven how Cinder could handle far greater titles and lands than many had first considered, but it was growing expensive to attain. Should Illyria seek to hold on to these lands and seek to grow further beyond, gold would be one of the core needs, as had been before, and seemingly would always be. Not that the crown was not wealthy. Even the lions in Westeros would grow jealous of the wealth and tax and trade that flowed through Illyria. The restoration of Agagoria had allowed for Illyria to reconnect itself to the major trade routes that once passed through North Illyria. Whether such wealth could last was another question. Rhaegar, now a man of old and wise mind, called his council to aid him, to discuss the best way to deal with their problem. Gold, the population boom, and their position within the world. Many saw their fledgling kingdom as a one generation hold, and that when Rhaegar died, his titles would die with him. Though many of those worries were crushed when they saw the prince flying on dragonback alongside his father, both of them ruling over Illyria with fiery strength. Aemon himself attended the meeting for the first time in quite a while. He held no position upon the council, but Rhaegar had decreed that his son would always be welcome at the meetings, should he ever find the motivation to attend. And something about today's topic had brought him forth, as if a flash of idea had rocked his mind. Or, perhaps, a flash of greed. There was wise counsel for the king. His hand suggested a smart and tame approach to sell the slaves they had, used the profits made to deal with uh, mass fundings, expansions in Tolos and Antares. And as the population continued to grow, if they were to ensure a good, wealthy population with enough coin to pay taxes and tithes, they would steadily increase their income. They would cost them labour, and was perhaps not as quick and powerful a windfall as the Rhaegar would hope. The only way to make assured gold is by spending gold. Aemon spoke, speaking across the room from his father. Conquest. Slaver's Bay holds a mighty wealth in each of its fine cities, he said, pointing towards a carved table before them. Gold, which can be paid directly to us through tax, through trade, through pure wealth. And then, oh, we can still sell some slaves, earn some more wealth if we so need it. Declaring war upon the free cities is unwise in every way. That of the king warned. Perhaps when we rode with one dragon. But that's no longer the case, father. I ride upon my beast, you ride upon yours. And there are others with dragon blend in our realm who we could call upon. And you hold one of the largest armies in all the realms. Now is not the time to sit upon our laurels and plead caution. Now is the time to earn our place in the bard's tales that shall soon come. If we do so, we isolate ourselves, we carve away our trade partners, we massacre cities. Lan tried to argue, the words being yelled, his eyes filled with passion. My son is right, Rhaegar finally spoke. If we do not take a stand and take our position onwards, if we do not push the strength we have now, they will push and push when we no longer have it. We must press this advantage. Show why I am king. The hand of the king looked worried. My king, I must advise against this. Advise me on my army. Advise my son on what we shall prepare. Do not speak to me about this logical opportunity. We must show them power, but give them a chance. A chance to submit before... Well, what if they do not submit, my king? The master of laws asked, a worried look in his eye. Then, we burn down their fucking pyramid. Aemon began to laugh, picking up his blade and marching from the room, still laughing, his father simply watching him leave. War would soon come to Illyria, and the dragons would rise. Hello everybody, and welcome back to Crusader Kings 2, 
a Game of Thrones, where once more we are King Rhaegar the Magnificent of Illyria, 52 years old now. And we are quite the uh, the powerful kingdom now, 26,000 men. Uh, definitely, I believe, the most powerful in Slaver's Bay. Yes, we beat out Marine, and obviously the rest won't beat Marine. It's only Geese, I think, that might be... No, Geese is also... So, Marine is the strongest, and we are the strongest. And part of this is us possessing uh, uh, Anagoria, or Anogaria, the uh, the colony that we've been continuing to expand. And at the very end of last session, we successfully expanded uh, to the next level. But with uh, King Rhaegar's age, the question is going to become if this is even going to be finished in his lifetime. Perhaps this may be work for Prince Aemond, the, uh, the heir of Valyria. An aggressive leader, a direct leader, a brilliant commander. Like, he is, he's proven to be more than people would expect of him, but perhaps his mind isn't all there being deceitful, authoritative, paranoid and stressed. And at least a bit temperate. <laughs> And of course, I like to try and follow the traits of characters as, as we play with them. But it's definitely going to impact how we play our son. Let's get started with today's uh, episode. Um, our eyes may look to ex second expansion into for Draconis or uh, Melio March. Most likely Melio March. But the Sea of Size is a very risky place to exp expand around, especially now. I mean, it's literally a Red Sea. So we are going to need to set up fortifications on these ones compared to colonies. Aemon wants to kill Dormioth Favar. Don't know who he is, but sure, son. I'll join you in your method. Fate smiles upon me. My wife is pregnant. How old is she? She's 44. I significantly expect this could be her last child. Hopefully she's not been drinking as much in this birth. Commander Varen of the Black Sails apparently has hatched a White Claw. Interesting. He is a bastard. He's a bastard Valerian. In the, um... Oh, no, no, he's not a Valerian. He is a House of the Black Sails. But he is, um... His parents are still alive. He's a ch the child of a Septon. <laughs> well, at least he's Valerian. Maybe he'll have his own family and continue the line. He does have a brother, Rugar. We're running low on High Valyrian, so I'll happily take them. Whenever they show up. Travelers bring rumors of fire blood. They say that the dragons live once more, and that Daemon the White Sword of White Sword Tower now rides Zalagon into dragon battle. Yeah, Zalagon is Barian's kid and has already had Hagen as a child. Is this the Celticars again? Yes, okay. It's shame that Vega died so soon. I mean, considering just how long Vega actually lives for. A truly terrifying beast. Who am I? This is the Lord of Demon Pass. He doesn't like me. I'll visit him on Dragonback. Yeah, I think that probably does the work. Need so much of an empire. It's definitely possible. Like if I take Slaver's Bay, I have what I need to form my own empire. I wonder what the De Jour empires here actually are. Yes, yeah, it's, it's New Valyria. It's it's just absolutely too massive to to even have it in our in our sights to form it. The Kingdom of Valyria, maybe, just because I mean, technically, it's three kingdoms. We've already got, or we've already formed our own kingdom in uh, North Valyria, so we don't need North Valyria. But then we have Lands of Always, Lands of Long Summer, and uh, Valyria. Oh, it's a it's a son. For some reason, he's wearing a schoolboy's outfit from the nineteen twenties. <laughs> yeah, boy. <laughs> A son was born to King Ray the Magnificent and Queen Elena Dryfurt named Aina. Anis, maybe? I, don't, I mean, it, it's it's Anus, haha, funny. Jahiris? Yeah. Why not? Oh, and that was my fifth kid. Maybe maybe that ambition was giving us a little extra bonus to have another kid. Just because of how old she is. You know, 
we're old enough now that maybe I could go for obtain Valyrian steel if that event comes through. There's also a chance you could just flat out buy it. Sometimes a seller comes through. The reason I was when I was earlier, I sort of dropped it, is because partially I worry about. Um, there you go. Congrats, Lord of Atlantis, on marrying some random woman in my court. Is 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 because of how like it's almost guaranteed to kill you <laughs> that event chain. The Rhaegar is actually surprisingly healthy for his age. There you go, to Sarah. So this is Ray's sub. Um, we'll give you etiquette. Well, Zalagon's already changed rider. Zalagon is going to be changing rider about every three and a half week. There's going to be a new rider of Zalagon. There's not much point building tax income, right? Because Colony's still... Oh! Prince Aemon has had his heir. Rhaegar, Valix, Viserys, Jaehaerys, Jainar, Arian, Gaiman, Oris. We'll go with Rhaegar. It's spelt differently to how our Rhaegar spelt. Oh, he died still, but never, he doesn't even mind then. But yeah. I think, yeah, the, the, the cavalry is the only one that actually matters because the tax is... Is it this one? Yeah, minus 48. So I don't think making a castle town is going to make much of a difference here. Oh, grave news. The Colony Nangagora is struggling to feed its people. The land is insufficient to bear enough food for all the conditions. It could cause a terrible famine. Uh, we shall send supplies to relieve them. Hopefully that may help. Because the other option is that they probably get doomed in a year or two. That girl, no. I don't know who this guy is, but... That is not a 39-year-old. That man is at least 90. Despite my best efforts to try and improve your wrongly tarnished reputation, it seems your standing in the realms has lessened. The realms I sent were merely greeted with scorn and skepticism. What are you doing? You ought to be prestige and general opinion. What a dick. The, the, thing, the thought on my mind right now is if we wanted wealth in these regions, if we want the wealth to colonize all of this, we kind of need to look towards the, the wealth of Marine. It's a very wealthy area. And if we could have the city under our control, and if we could take these lands, we could have sort of a wealth unparamount, a wealth unchecked in the region. Like these two alone basically allow us to just drag and conquest all of it. Hmm. He apparently claimed to be a lord who disappeared seven years ago. So on his way to his castle. He sings the children the songs of children of the forest, and some say his songs are prophetic. Okay, you can appear in my court. We like prophetic dreams. I'm no longer authoritative. I mean I don't need the dragon taming chance, so <laughs> I already have enough traits. Let's have a look at our traits. What would we do? We are ambitious. We are wrathful. But we are we are what well, you are temperate. We believe in moderation. But then with 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 this ambitious that goes alongside it, which would take precedent here? Would we hold ambition to take the lands of marine, or would we be happy with the lands we already have? I mean, temp temper and content are, are content are different things. Content is the opposite of ambitious, whereas temper is more when it comes to it, it's more the opposite of gluttony of uh, and greed rather than the opposite of um, ambitious. Princess, hmm. I see a lot of reason to do it keenly for the wealth. Not to mention, he also has a dragon egg. I think if we should try and seize this dragon egg, we can't just sit on this army, and I, I we can't let his ambition die with him. I mean, his son is authoritative, but he's far less ambitious. This, he, he's a man who's uh, also also temperate. I guess that's the only trait he taught to him. And he does have a. 
his firstborn Jahiris. Who, yeah, he's also slow. Which is unfortunate. We learned at the end of last session. I'd say we'd go for it. This could be our best rescue. So claim Borash. And he has a claim on Borash. So we'll, you know, we'll give you Borash if we take the city. I'm only going to raise my own troops, though. I don't see a need for their troops. Let's get you down to Tolos and you to Tolos as well. Let's see if I can get my son to command the armor with me. Two dragons in one army. I think it's possible. Ah, he's not listed as a commander yet. That would be why. Um, Visenya has a dragon, doesn't she? No, she doesn't. It's um my other daughter. Has, so you know, you can be my master of coin. I don't want. I don't want Aemon as master of arms because I want him as a commander, and you can't have him uh, be both. We'll make Aemon the commander. Let's ride with our dragons together. So this is New Gis has joined. So we need to sort of crush Marine quickly. I didn't expect one of them joining the coalition, but the largest one of them joining the coalition is the problem here. We'll just head straight to Marine, I think. Majesty is growing lazy. He spends most of his days sleeping or basking in the sun and rarely goes out on hunt on his own accord. He, spe he tends to be indifferent to his efforts to train him. So he could gain lazy, which will decrease his size growth. 33% chance of losing lazy. Oh, I'm smart enough to get rid of it. She already has playful. She can't get... Well, they can't get playful twice, so we'll go with this one. It at least makes them lose lazy, because lazy is just a purely negative trait. I have seen the question, and I've now realised this as well. Who is going to claim... Damn, we already have uh, Robert's Rebellion, or the Baratheon Rebellion. I've seen it question who is going to sort of hold the titles at all, who's going to claim majesty when I pass. And that's a really good question. I I realise that obviously I've given Aemon a dragon egg, and so he wouldn't have his own. But that is the practice, as even giving your firstborn, you would give them the dragon egg. Um like the Targaryens were so large that even like having Valerian to them didn't especially matter. They didn't really need him. Not that you just keep all of your army here. I think that's the smartest place for your army. This really th okay, their main army is in Astroport. They must already be at war, maybe? Yes, they're already at war. So maybe that's is the perfect time. That you can marry as you please. I could call for dragon riders. So interesting to see if that works. Dracarys. Oh, again, wounded every single time. Well, we were we were told that dragon fire, you know, would make a difference to marine. That marine could only fall from the inside. We're gonna find out if that's even true. Quicksilver is now running into battle. By m one of my subjects rides Quicksilver. Oh my goodness, Basa. And she has a son as well, so maybe spread. Uh, am I able to make you a commander? I don't think I am because you're female. No, I can. Let's do it. Free dragon riders. <laughs> let's let's just do this. Quicksilver joining the fight. Two dragons fly over Marine, and the only terrifying sight is the fact another comes to join them. Um, we'll take a moment to house arrest. Then we're going to bring this into port. Oh no, we're going to we're going to take the second level because I, I, I thought we couldn't take it, but we can. And then we're going to go over to Illyria. Illyria is pretty well defended with garrison now, so it does give us a bit of time. I don't want to deploy the dragon in the siege until 
uh, they're no longer wounded. We're losing a lot of men in this uh, this siege, though, because attrition attrition is the real killer in any war, but especially in places like these, which is mostly desert. Oh, they've got 24k in Lyria now. Maybe I just stay on Marine and hope to full siege it. Quicksilver is right by court. Oh, Jahir is oh. Faxalix must have had a dragon egg then. So I was going to say, because maybe he could be the one to inherit Majesty, but he's been given a dragon egg of his own now. Well, if who, whichever family member doesn't have a dragon, like uh, Visenya could take it. In, in my opinion, I find it interesting to leave it kind of open in the air about who will get the dragon egg or who will tame Majesty, because then you end up with a situation where it was whoever had the strongest dragon in Westeros. Many people were like, well, they should actually be the uh, the king, you know, because they have the best army. Let's put you aboard. Sell you to Tolos so you can get some regen, I think. That's barely any reinforcements. No, I think we take the gamble. I think we have to take the gamble here. And hope that our dragons carry this fight. Oh, they absolutely did. They just lost all of it at once. I don't like using dragon fire on Illyria, but when it wins a battle, <laughs> that wipes them. Oh, good lord! What a fight. Uh, let's let our army get get our army some time to regen. Then hods. Princess Dana is uh, slowly learning to fight. Well, she's just learning from me, who's not good at fighting. We took two of them. They've got a lot here, though. It's kind of the problem. And then once we have it, 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 it will still be city. But obviously there's things we can do to make it a... a um, feudal holding. They're going to unsiege it so quick. It, it's annoying how quickly they unsiege. We need to get there quick. Ten k troops reappear in Illyria for some reason. We'll take care of them after we clear this siege on Marine because we need Marine. The fact they insta took Marine is so annoying. And now eighteen k is about to march into me. Oh, this is becoming a problem. I'm just taking all of his family into house arrest over and over again. There's no way he can win this. Especially if we're crushing his army here. There we go. Say so we're crushing his army will surely be what does it. Um... Okay, wait, we need to return to our actual homelands to disband them. We'll go over that way. You, though, are, should be able to. How is that not a friendly port? Or maybe uh, it just needed to wait a second and it would be a friendly port. Wow, I, I assume he probably tried to hatch a dragon from the egg because of the war. But it did not work out for him. So do I hold all of these? Or what do I hold? Because I need to manage titles. No, I'm out. Oh, it's, I can create the title. The Kingdom of North Illyria. The Chimera of Mantalis. The city of monsters at the northern tip of the Sea of Sighs were one of the city, uh, one of the many cities founded by the ancient Valyrian Freehold. And f its deformed inhabitants remember more of old Valyria than most. Now that you have reunited the lands of Longwinter once more, a group of twisted Mantarian priests come to you. Claiming they are th that you are the true heir to the Freehold. They bring you an ancient Valerian steel great uh, greatsword that they have held as a relic since the Doom. Not for... Well, that's far better than going in the bloody ruins, isn't it? Oh my goodness, I completely forgot that's a feature. A richly decorated Valerian steel greatsword that has blends of yellow and gold patterns infused into its metal. A large red sapphire sits between two ram's heads on their hilt, and the pommel is a rearing snake. 
The blade shows the fine craftsmanship. Look at that. The fine craftsmanship the Valerians were capable of and has been jealously guarded by the twisted priest of Mentaris for centuries until such a time as a worthy heir to the freehold of old Valeria emerges. Well, that is good for my, my story as well, me being the worthy heir of Valeria, of uh, the North Valeria now that I've claimed this. I should be able to switch my key title I wish to as well. Because I do like the name of North Illyria. North Illyria led by Illyria. Wow. Our bloodline, the worthy successors to the Freehold. Let's uh, bring these troops back home. Oh, it just deforms the kingdom of Illyria. I may not have switched if I knew it completely destroyed it, but I'm I'm also kind of fine with it. Because I can also rename this title if I wanted, so it's not a big deal. Pick an ambition. Not many left. Um everyone just wanna see the realm prosper. Build a chest, seven hundred gold. Let's see if I can I seven hundred gold shouldn't be too hard. So what do we do with these titles? So he must pay tax to us now. Well, we're, we're, it says we're losing them because of... He's, whose prison is he in? In his. So basically, I need to revoke his title, but I won't be able to. Because we have a, a truce still. Hmm. I do really just want to directly control, is the thing, though. Though the problem is, if I directly control that, I can't... Probably can't directly call on Gregoria. What I'll do, and here's what I will say for, for the story, purposes of the story that we are telling, is that the Freeholder of Marine will be gone and will put my son on that title. But am I able to do so via saves? I, I, I will just say, because there's no chance I'd let him keep his title after I've defeated him. I know it's a part of Dragon Invasion, but... I think it makes more sense that I take the title from him. So I will quickly use some saves and get us this title. I know that a lot of people are like, you shouldn't circumvent game mechanics. I somewhat disagree if the story is interesting, and I prefer stories over game mechanics. And I want to put my son, Aemond, in charge of Marine. Give him a chance to prove himself. I mean, I was going to say I could put another son, but Jairus is too young for it. I would put Visenya in charge if, she, if I was able to land women. Definitely. Senya is definitely worthy of that title. But uh, we're going to quickly reclaim North Valyria. Okay. Hopefully my, my finagling has worked and hasn't broken anything. And uh, if it has broken something, then let me know in the comments I'll fix it. Um, as far as I'm aware, all they need is for themselves to own a castle... Uh, and then they will remain lords. Like, Aemon is now Lord of Marine. He's not uh, an elected. Uh, and the Great Pyramid is now the capital, with the actual city of Marine being a vassalage under him. But the problem for him is going to be he's earning absolutely no money here because of the, the dragon raids. So it's going to take him a while to earn money in this region. And hopefully, he doesn't have any revolts against him. But if he does, he rides upon a dragon. So I hopefully. That will help him out. <laughs> uh, we also have... Uh, he's the only one I think has been allowed to keep his title as... Uh, Lord Vagan has been given this land. He is only seven. Uh, but he's given this land because the regent... The uh, regent will be... Is my bastard daughter, Rey. Uh, Rey is... Um, was technically my firstborn. Albeit a bastard. And I felt it was right that her line should continue through her son. So he's been given these lands, and again, he builds a castle. And as agreed, we were giving Borash to uh, Lord Mokoro here, as he did have a claim upon it. But uh, yes, my, my son is the Lord of Marine. A mighty title, and one that will hopefully earn us some good gold when our monthly expenses fix. Yes. Did you... You want to marry Ray? You not married? A is this a second wife? Are you able to have second wives? Is there something wrong with your current wife? I won't say no, 
I didn't know you could have two Ys. I'm not sure how that works. Yeah, secondary wives. He took her as a secondary wife. Okay. Makes sense. He can do as he pleases. I might have a kid to doing this. Um, Senia has two living children. Eris and Visenya. When Eris comes of age, my thought is he may go after Majesty. Wink, wink. But uh, in general, we may be giving him a title. Uh, Dana is, is seven years old now. Slow and, cons and uh, conscientious. Let's give Jaharis, um an etiquette uh, education. He looks like he could. He has, he has potential as a child, so we'll give him a good chance. He wants to marry a third wife. I, I, I guess being in these lands doesn't have. I mean, I could have a second wife. I just haven't actually taken one. Nairis Jomino. <laughs> he wants to marry Ray and Ray's daughter. <laughs> my god. Oh my god. This guy's got the worst traits, but we're going with it. Sure, he's marrying a woman and her, <laughs> and her daughter as secondary wives. I mean, hey, he, want, he, need, he wants a lot of kids. He also probably wants to be my master at arms. And now the war's over, I'm tempted to just give it to him. Uh, but I want to train troops up in Illyria because we need to get our levies back up in all three of these. I think he's going in Angoria. In Anogaria. Well, they didn't die from from the, that famine. So that's good news. So they still have the potential to grow. But it's going to take them a while because that famine definitely set them back. We're technically only one kingdom title away from um, forming an empire. I don't know if that's going to be something Rhaegar would want to do in his lifetime, especially with how... I mean, it says we have 30k, but actually majority of it is levies now, I think. Actually, is it not? Where's this 30k come from, then? 3k? 4k? 9k? Yeah, I don't know where that's... 17k from Vassals? Who's got 17k? Is it like their potential, their max? Because I don't see 17k here. Unless it's like one of these. Oh yeah, 3k, 1k, 3k. So he, he actually has vassals that have a lot of troops. Yeah, interesting. Okay, so it, it, it's it's more like the, the sub-cities in Marine are the ones that actually have the troops. So we could get a, a third kingdom, which would let us form... Um, extort subjects. I'm not. I don't really want to do that. Hold three kingdoms. Us. We hold two right now. So it's possible we could form a, a kingdom. Because mm. I kind of want to form a kingdom so that we can give Aemond a king title rather than a duchy title. For now. I'm saying that he it, it's referred to as the Princedom of Marines. It is like the Prince's title. But he says my intent is for it to be the Prince of the Ooh. Princess of the Iron Throne. Uh, why is of the Black Cells? Oh, no. Is that something I'm going to have to fix? <laughs> and we're going to have to make them Targaryens again. Are they Targaryens? No, they're just a random house called Of the Black Cells. We'll say they're Targaryens because that doesn't make any sense to have Of the Black Cells be the ruling dynasty of the Iron Throne. Oh my goodness. Wow, he gave. He gave Borash. Oh no, he actually. He, oh, he rules in Borash as a master, so he has a barony title. So that's the only title he managed to keep after the fall of Marine. And his dragon failed him. Um, I don't really. I'm, you're not worth forty gold. Let's give you his that cousin wife a. Eh? Ooh, just like his father, his dragon egg is not hatching. 
struggle. Why not? But what counts as a kingdom title then? So technically Barash is actually Marine's kingdom title. So yeah, Yunkai, all, all of these are their own unique kingdom titles. So taking one of them would let us fall an empire. You at war? Were you at war over? It's a revolt against the prince, but the prince has way more troops than a dragon. Am I able to ally him? Because I do want to protect him. Mm. Okay, so I can't ally my vassals. I may, like, force myself into his war somehow if I can, because it makes sense that I would protect the prince and the prince's title. I think all the people sieged because they married without consent, sure. Ooh, levy reinforcement rate. Wonderful. That's going to really help in, in these regions. Ah, it's a dark winter. It's unfortunate. So I guess this guy's going to lose a demon road then. I should see if I could maybe find a younger... Uh, it's also you bribe now that my wife is too old. Just to, you know, just to see if we can have any more children. That has to be of age. Hmm. She's good, but she's in seclusion. And she's a bastard. This 17-year-old might be the best. And then you will also want to know. Oh, Majesty's back, back to full health. Good, wonderful news. We love burning random trade ports. I don't need gold. I'm just going to sit on my own gold and wait until we get around 700. For too long, Chai Loy has occupied my rightful seat. Why? I don't care about the Moonstone Empire. You, you guys do whatever you want over there. Like, this whole... Past this point... I, you had all your own stuff, you know. We actually lost a significant amount of men in that war, which which keeps me interested about our actual military capabilities, because we we did have the num we didn't have the numbers fully, but we kind of did because the Newton uh, Gis didn't actually end up getting fully involved. Uh, they just landed on earlier a couple of times. We whooped their ass, and then 18k from Reen stayed there. But the attrition is what's really killing us in this region. News from the Silver King Ray uh, from Silver King Rhaegar. It seems that while surveying his demands, the Lord Jojen Fen happened upon the corpse of a huge grey green who had been a clutch of the living hatchlings. That's what the side of the mother's body. Lord Jojen and his children found the hatchlings. Seeing that the lizard lion is a sacred uh is the sacred animal of the Marsh Kings, whose blood he bears. And they were the same of hatchlings as his children. Lord Jojen took them as a sign and blessing from the old gods of the forest that his children were meant to have them. So basically, it's what if Ned found the wolves in the neck? Question mark. The, I mean, the lizard lion is this, isn't it? This is a lizard lion. Uh, the the house reads John. Galbart Stark. What a name. At least, as far as I'm aware, that's what it is. Question mark. I may be stupid. There's a very strong possibility I'm stupid. Let's see if we can sell some slaves. Yes, apparently we can sell some slaves. I've been told that slave raiding is one of the best ways to earn cash. Uh, we're so close to 4,000 prestige, we'll do this one. Winter has come to an end.
And that is almost definitely true. Because that sort of um, wealth, 400 gold from one state raid, is a lot. That's why I know um, a lot of people like to just go out and like raid the summer hours over and over again and then sell slaves. Um, and also having large slaves also helps because you get um, extra assistance. Like I have marginal, but then you look at Lyra where they have... Has he sold his slaves? Where are they? Where are they only a modifier on the city? I don't know, but his slaves aren't listed for some reason. We already have enough gold if we wanted to... Oh, how wonderful. My new wife is pregnant. Um... Sure. We we do would do almost have the money to start colonizing Melly or March, but we don't have the dement size. Oh, and it's a good thing we didn't finish spend some gold. In the sense of Anagoria stands a ruin of particular interest. It was once a great amphitheater where plays and feasts were once performed. Now the company is only a sad reminder of a once great city. Perhaps it should be restored for its. Absolutely, it should be restored. Come on. Wonderful. I mean, it mostly gives me bonuses, but I'm sure it also must give bonuses to um, Angagoria here. Hopefully we'll see it uh, level up another colony soon. Because right now it's still an advanced colony. Madness and greatness are two sides of the same coin, and every time a new Targaryen is born, the gods toss a coin in the air, and the world holds its breath to see how it lands. This child seems mad. Both of my sons have been cruel, and both of my daughters have been, like, beautiful, kind, smart, geniuses. Maybe there's just something about the male line of House Cinder. Maraxes uh, has been tamed by a Stormlander. Interesting. Oh no, she was slain by a Stormlander. Wow. Ugh. Well, I'll have to fix this because I hate them being called of the of the Black Cells. I mean, what even happens to House Targaryen? What what happens to them? Are they still around? Because it seems every game when you start with Aegon's Conquest, they just die. There is a Targaryen still left. Why is he not the king? Was it taken from them? Uh, I think I'm probably going to give the title back to... Unless he's a Septon? He's disfigured, but so is his dad. He's excommunicated from... Are you excommunicated? The Targaryens all got excommunicated. What happened in the Iron Throne? Did did the Faith Militant win? Is that what happened here? Because there are still Valyrians on the throne. I guess they just used dragon power. You know, I won't I won't make them Targaryens then. Um, you guys leave suggestions down in the comments. If you're Patreons, you can leave them down in the Patreon comments or the YouTube comments. Uh, if you guys are watching this on YouTube, then I've already filmed episode 5, but I'll probably do this in episode... Uh, oh, sorry, episode 6, but I'll probably do this in episode 5. Uh, oh, I'm, I'm talking the wrong way around here. i probably filmed the next episode, but I will do this episode after. What should we call this house? I w if, if you guys have ideas, write up a story. Um, tell me a story about how did this house take control? I'm gonna have to do some fixing anyway because House Stokeworth definitely should not have. Um, was that correct? Hey, off the top of my head, I remembered Stokeworth. We'll we'll give them back Dragonstone. I'm gonna do some save edit fixes in um, this region in general because it's clear they need it. We're gonna fix up the Iron Throne a little bit, but I want to know from your story what happened in the Iron Throne. Why did the Targaryens fall? Why were they excommunicated? Was it the Faith Militant? Was it a fall from the inside? And these new Dragon Riders, how did they take over? What have they done in control? Because these are the questions I want you guys to answer. Let's make a story together. Uh, we'll, we'll wonder what goes on there, and I'll wait to see what you guys say. And we shall continue in North Illyria here. Yeah? Rhaegar approaching 60 now. The could be my thing somewhat gloomily as late. The burden of her unborn child is surely causing humoral imbalance. Um, we'll spend a bit of gold. Keep her happy. New administration. 
I mean, that'll fade away soon, I'm sure. Okay, he's already getting... He's already got a lot of troops growing here. Like, he's going to have a very decent army. What I, what I honestly hope is my end goal is once we have all of Valyria here, is that we actually turn Illyria into the Prince Stone. Like, Illyria is our Dragonstone, and Valyria is our capital. That's my big hope, and I think that'd be pretty sick. A son was born to King Rhaegar the Misfit and Queen Ma uh, Meliris of North Valyria, named Orion. Dana... Valar. I love the name Valar. Okay. He is sickly. Let's hope he can treat him. The one my, my first wife, uh, my first child with this wife dying so soon. Make him prideful. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Dorth was born to uh, Prince Vesenia. There's a good chance this could be my kid. Uh, named Eleanor, Hera, Mera, Syela, Rhaenys. You didn't have a kid called Rhaenys yet, do you? Wonderful. This kid's now Rhaenys. It's so interesting, with such a strong, like, bloodline here, with so many members and s s already a lot of control, whereas the Targaryens couldn't even hold after, um, I guess Aenys just was that terrible. I've learned of our mutual prop uh, that our mutual problem likes taking the morning air on a balcony. Let's see if we can make it take a tumble. Oh, a new clutch of eggs from Majesty. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. I could lay this with Harris because, as far as I'm aware. But as far as I'm aware, my grandson through Aemond already has a dragon egg. Yeah, he's already laying with a dragon egg. Um, I'd rather gain the piety. Interesting. So this this is an interesting question that we now have. Do I keep dragon egg? Give it to one of Visenya's kids, or give it to Visenya herself. You know what? I say because, or well, she she's not my lover anymore, but she's still my daughter. I kind of want to see if she'll go for Majesty. She's also possessed now, which is funny. Or maybe her her firstborn or her uh, elder son Ares may go for Majesty. Someone will go for Majesty, and it will cause conflict. And I love that. I love conflict. So instead. I think I should give it to Jaharis. Don't miss it, you'll be signed that the child is indeed a true cinder. And the Sept Majesty has even more eggs. News from King's Landing of Grace in the Iron Throne. The Dragon Riders, Queen Illyria of, of the Black Cells, Rider of Hagon, and the Queen Lysander, Rider of Hagon, met in fierce combat. Queen Zara and Zara were killed, killing Hagon. So Hagon is dead. That must have been a real dance of dragons. So there's a war, uh, there's a proper war going on. Wait, Zalagon killed its own kid. Damn. There's a new queen of the Iron Throne already. Okay, well, never mind. Maybe we may not fix it. House Hayes. The rider of Zalagon. Kraken Man. What's a. Cr huh? The North? How did she end up riding a dragon? I don't understand. There's no way there's any Valyrian blood in her. How did she tame a dragon? Is is Valyrian blood not a requirement? I I was 100% certain it was a requirement. Maybe I messed up somewhere in the settings and, and made it so anyone can tame a dragon? I don't think I did. This just doesn't make any sense to me. Is it through this side? No, I have no clue. Where the Kraken Man was getting her dragon blood from. I don't. She's also in a regular marriage, so it's actually Torblack who's gonna take the Iron Throne. This is the best in CK2, is you have no clue what's going on. In CK3, 
this is very unlikely to happen. CK2, you can just sit here and ignore the Iron Throne, because it's such a mess. I, I may step in and put someone more stable on the throne, try and fix some things up there, because that is an absolute mess. I don't I don't know why there's so many Dragon Riders without Dragon Bloods. No, she definitely doesn't have Dragon Bloods. No, she only has her own bloodline. She has no Dragon Blood in her. So I have no clue. You declared war. He's declared war on the Kingdom of Hashtaha. Oh my goodness. I thought I was going to say, well, we'll end it here. But no, I want to see how this war's going to go for him. Because if he takes this title... Oh my goodness! Prince Jairus! The genius! 11k. Damn, he's got a real army. I must outnumber them by a lot. Yeah, he does. Is anyone coming to aid them? Not by the looks of it. You should have this war won quickly then. I'm gonna have a little bit of a hard cut here, as I've had to um, deal with a small problem which showed itself but immediately has been fixed. What a world we find ourselves in. What a world we find ourselves in. Queen Lissa of the Iron Throne. She's already at war. It's it's a faith, <laughs> faith militant have risen again. <laughs> she's not even. A, she's no faith of exceptionalism here. She's not a Targaryen. They're just rising again. I need to fix the Iron Throne. I need to put somebody stable in charge of the Iron Throne. <laughs> but I think we shall leave it here, everybody. We have our son heading off uh, on a slave raid against uh, Hazdahan, which is going to put us uh, in an interesting situation with a lot of these Khanates, that they see us as aggressors now in this region. Uh, we, we no longer, we have basically mountains which protected us the entire way before, from uh, Anagaria to the Demon Road, but now we're a bit more exposed. And will this be our final kingdom we take? I don't know, Yunkai looks good. We could even take Hazdahan as an actual wall. And I'm sure we still want to continue expansion in normal ways. But I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed. I've certainly enjoyed making this episode. And this whole series in general has been one of my favorites so far. And it, I still think it's going strong. And I hope you guys keep watching and enjoying with me. If you do want to see the next episode and you're watching this on YouTube, it's already out on the Patreon. You can... Come join on Patreon, come support me. And if you do support me, I want to say huge thanks. Huge thanks to those who have already committed even any amount to, help to the Patreon. It is. I'm so thankful. And also seeing the, the, so many supporters from different places, different um, backgrounds. Genuinely, it's amazing being able to watch all these people support my content. And I just want to say thank you guys so much for all of that. Uh, but what shall happen to now our kingdom of North Valyria? Not merely Illyria. King Rhaegar is growing old. He has many a child, and of course, his genius child, Prince Jaehaerys. What an absolutely incredible kid he is. But he's not the heir. The heir is Prince Aemond. Already going out on wars and causing trouble. There's no doubt that there's going to be problems with this. And I cannot wait for it. I love the stories that this could create. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I shall see you guys in the next episode. Until then.